Okay, so I missed out on a lot, and I need to tell you guys some stuff. Number one, we had a power outage this morning. Was going to film it, and I did film it, but then I deleted it because it didn't look very good. So now I have no record of it. Number two, as you saw in the intro, I still got a lot of fish that I don't have any photos of, or not a whole lot of photos of, that are very good. And if you can look, and if you look at roughfish.com, which is like one of the official sites that has rules and regulations for lifeless, and they say that you have to have, you know, pictures. And I never used to do that. I used to just write my species down in a piece of paper. And that's probably really dumb. So since it's very pretty much winter time to, um, here in Indiana, and it is getting warmer, but it's still too cold for any of the cool stuff to start coming out or be worth it to take longer trips to find new species. <laughs> So we're going to be just checking some stuff off my kind of personal to-do list. Um, we trying to get a photo of a white sucker, a rock bass, and since we're going to be going back to the place we've now gone three times in a row, I thought it'd be cool to just send an underwater camera down there because I've sent an underwater camera down there like two years ago, and it was pretty cool. So I want to see how it's changed. Then after we hit that spot, we're going to just try somewhere else. At least that's the plan, but as you guys know, nothing goes to plan when it comes to fishing, so let's just see what happens. And oh yeah, I got a new present. Better watch out. So we just arrived at the spot, right behind me is the creek, I'm trying to stay in front of the sun so I don't, you know, like overexpose the camera, but it looks really good. Anyway, so we got the under- shoot, don't know why I just did that, but anyway, so, let me show you the um, little underwater camera system. So what we got here, we got the camera on a ham meat tub, and I've got lots of holes poked in it, and I've got it attached by two strings going to that and a swivel, and I'm just going on some 30 pound monofilament that I never use. And this, what we're going to use with this, is we're going to stick that through there, and we're going to have some bait on the end of this. So that way, when the camera's looking at it, it can see fish that will come up and eat the bait. We're probably not going to use it down there, because there's so many creek chubs down there that it's not really needed. But, yeah. But down here, it's going to be needed. We've got some gravel from the parking lot, and we're just that's going to help it sink down and fill with water. And hopefully we can catch some fish on camera. I don't have high hopes for getting our baits on camera. If we do, that'll be amazing. But And I'm not even sure, at least in this stretch, we'll probably get better results down at the riffle. But I don't know if we're going to even have any, be able to see any fish because it's kind of muddy. But I don't know. We shall see. Well guys, as you can see, we're back in the car. We didn't even cast a line in because we're on an entirely new mission now. It, 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 it's gone from relaxing fishing to a hard co-op mission. So you see, I wasn't recording this because I thought it was and I'm an idiot and I didn't realize it was. And so we go, dad's holding the spool, I swing it in, it goes, Bam! The bottom of the meat tub breaks apart, so it sinks to the bottom, and the sticky mount for the GoPro comes off, and so it's lost. Now, it wasn't very, the, the current wasn't very strong, so we should be able to get it back. Hold on. Anyway, so yeah, it should be on the bottom. I didn't see it floating anywhere, it must have been the plastic parts on the, uh, GoPro that helped it sink, or at least be neutrally buoyant, so it's either floating around in that pool, or it's on the bottom. Hopefully it's on the bottom. But again, this has gone from like, just like a boring fishing video to like an ultimate mission. We've got to do this. we got six hours. Okay. We're suiting up. Well, you, you can bring it. You can bring it. We are getting sued up. We're getting sued up. 
We got boots. We got waiters. We got more boots. We got more waiters somewhere. Like, I think somewhere over here. We got more waiters. We got net poles. We've got all my action cameras that being two in their water from having is all their batteries. We got a pole to stick that camera underwater. We got our carp net pole with a uh, um, camera mount. As a last resort. And the camera. What, like the camera strategy as last resort? No, the cardboard box strategy. Oh, we're going to really do that? Okay. No, I'm not going to do it. That's going to be okay. Like, oh, yeah. Have to go back tomorrow. And we got a shovel. <laughs> Because we are, we are not setting up for failure. This is, we're going to do this. If we don't do this today, we could be screwed. Find GoPro Mission 1 has initiated. As you can see, Dad is walking in his neoprene waders. He has my light dowel LD4000 action camera in its waterproof housing on our carp fishing net pole. What we're going to think about doing is just poke around with that, see if we can either A, touch it, or B, get the GoPro on camera. And if we can, that can help us locate where it is. <laughs> Dad is now walking into the immersive depths. Just being clear, we're going to be taking very good safety precautions. Because right there, it gets like six or seven feet. So you got to be careful in doing this. Yeah, Dad, I would start using the... Use the camera! Use the camera end. Well, I want to get... I'm saying, instead of poking around with that end, poke around with the camera end. It was about like over here. It was about right there where we threw it in. You'll look like an ichthyologist. Feeling anything? Yeah, the pinhole leak. Oh. My knee. Oh, really? <laughs> it was more over here. So, yeah, you're going to have to go farther over. Gravel? What'd you say? It's a little gravel patch. Is the camera right side up? I don't know. Oh, I bumped something. Bumped something. I just bumped something hard. But it's not very big. How big? It's not big enough to be. Uh, really? Like how small? I don't know, like a rock. You found it? You found it. Okay, well, hold on. Okay, we've got good news. <laughs> you found it? I think so. Okay. Well. Oh, I don't need that shovel, so. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to run around to you, so, okay? I'm getting my boots on. First time using the boots. See, super light. I mean, look at this. I'm running in these boots. I mean, look at this. Super light. Super light. I love these things. I'm trying to not get my hands wet right here. See? Oh, arms. Yeah. Toss it good. Oh, good catch. Oh. Look at that. He's got the, the net. Are you getting it? I don't know. It's so muddy here on this bank. You want me to take the uh, pole? Yes. I don't know how you toss it to me. Okay, that works. Watch it, make sure it doesn't fall over. Okay. Oh. <laughs> That's it, 
I'm not going down for it. Oh, you're kidding. You gotta use the gold with her. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> well, that thing's done. Yeah, it's broke. So now what? Just toss that up to me? Okay. Well, that thing is kind of done for anyway. <laughs> Just fling it like a frisbee or something. We'll, we'll get that later. We'll get that right. later. Okay, now if you if you break this next one, I'm I'm just saying. Go. Perfect. I'm stuck. go look at that is it still on or is it kind of dead looks dead yeah okay I, that's expected okay yeah. Yeah. oh so sing song so far because my dad's phone is dead, so pardon the bad quality, but let's see if I can get him out of this corner. There he goes. Okay. So, I just saw these grass mats, and I'm like, you know, I've heard of a lot of fish, like microfish, go into these weeds during the winter. So I pulled out my cheapo toy net, and I started raking, and I saw this guy just kind of flop on the surface, and I saw the red and blue, and so I scraped again, and he was in there. Beautiful orange throat male again. My camera does not do this thing justice. This is like a $90 phone So the camera is not very good Man that is such a beautiful. This is my second male I've ever seen but this one I netted so it if I didn't have it it would not count for my life list, but Such a beautiful fish again this camera does not do this fish justice look at the beautiful blue and red Oh my gosh, these, I love these fish. They're very common in Indiana Creeks. It's so beautiful. Look at that. Oh, look at that. Look at that. You can, well, you can really see them now. Shot right oh, there. look Take at it. those fins. Shot. Look at those fins. Shot. Okay, so I just released the orange throat. That wasn't filming, but that's okay. I just released them back into those mats. Species. They just hide it there in the winter time. I was just raking and he just kind of flopped his fins, so I scooped again and I got him. Let me show you what I got. I got him the lip. Probably not the best lip net you could possibly find. It's like a cheapo Walmart net that you can Walmart's like two dollars, but I mean it did the it did the trick. It did the trick. So that is really cool. I mean, hey, we can, at least we can say some, that we caught something besides a creek chub. Not with hook and line, but it's something. <laughs> Let's keep fishing.